you remember when you got her? You had hours and hours to just drive and dream. You spent your Saturdays fixing whatever needed fixing just to keep her running right. 20 years later, isn't it time you two got reacquainted? When you're ready, we're here. Because at LMC Truck, we know that while time may have passed, your passion for her never faded. Get her back on the road where she and you belong. In Gears, brought to you by LMC Truck. Keep them on the road. Hey, welcome to Gears. As you can see, we have made some great progress on this old 86 long bed Chevy truck that started out life as a farm truck before we blew it all apart and created the stunt double out of it, a modern version of the old Fall Guy truck. Now, as you can see, the body is all together. We've hooked up all the major components under the hood. Now it is time to put a face on this thing and finish out the front end. The first step is to fit the headlight buckets, and those fasten to the core support with special springs and screws. Now, if your original parts are in good shape, you can clean those up and reuse them. If not, replacements are available from LMC. Now, when you're fitting your headlights, you're gonna find that these little plastic adjusters are notorious for breaking or pulling out. It was just a bad design, they were always a problem. Now, you can get replacements, but that doesn't really solve the problem. What we're gonna do is do away with the plastic inserts and replace it by riveting in a metal insert that we got from ARP. This will give us a permanent solution to a long-standing square body problem. Now, when it comes to the headlight buckets and the trim rings, chances are you can clean those up, repaint them, and reuse them like we did here. But, obviously, if they're rusty or all bent up, you need to replace them. For headlight bulbs, you can go with a stock-style sealed beam bulb or a more modern light with a removable halogen bulb. Now, since this is a more traditional-looking truck, we're gonna stick with the stock style bulb. Okay, the perimeter trim that goes around the headlights and the grill is the next thing to go on. Fortunately, ours was in great shape, so we're just gonna clean it up and reuse it. But if you don't have any good trim, LMC's got everything that you need so you're not trimless. The same thing is true with your headlight bezels. If your originals are in good shape and not all broken up, you can clean them up and repaint them and save yourself some money. If you need some, LMC's got all kinds to choose from, from chrome to painted to whatever, so you can really dial in the look you're after. The next piece to go on is the grill. And these square body GM trucks had a long run, roughly 15 years with very little body changes. So there's a lot of grills that'll fit that truck. As you can see, it's almost like a big grill buffet. Now, this obviously is our original grill. And if you like that look with all the trim and the insert, well, you can get a brand new one from LMC. However, if you like the original style grill without the trim, they've got that too. Or if you want to go to an 83 to an 84 grill with or without trim, they've got that. Or if you want to jump to an 81 to 82 grill, <laughs> that'll bolt right in. Or if you just want to get rid of all the original grills and go with a billet or a chrome grill, they've got that too. Now, like I said, that's a lot of choices. And as you can see, they all add their own unique flavor to the truck. Now, for the stunt double, we're gonna stick with an original style grill with trim. So first, we'll get the new trim in place.
Then we'll put on the new turn signals. And finally, put it all together. All right, now that we have the grill dialed in, we're ready to move on to the bumper. Now, if you remember, the original Fall Guy truck had an original bumper with a, some sort of overrider bar. <laughs> we can do a lot better than that. So, we went to Off-Road Designs and got one of their tubular front bumpers. Now, not only does this match their rear bumper, but it's also a hardcore off-road bumper with places to mount off-road lights, D-rings and hooks, and even a winch, something the original Fall Guy truck never had. Now that is an awesome bumper, and it works really well with this headlight and grill treatment. Now, like I said before, we have places here to mount extra off-road lights, a winch, all kinds of cool stuff. And once we put that cowl induction hood on here, this whole front end is gonna be done. But we're gonna wait to do that because I still have some wiring to do under the dash and some wiring to do under the hood. It's a whole lot easier to do that with the hood off. But we'll get the hood on here soon enough. You'll see. And now, the Gladiator Search and Rescue Build, powered by Best Top. There's no doubt that this Jeep Gladiator has come a long way since we first rolled it in the shop. What started out as a completely stock Jeep is now a legitimate search and rescue rig with key upgrades being done in all the right areas except one. And that is the area of navigation and audio. Now, obviously, most new vehicles come with a decent audio and navigational system, and it's great if you're trying to get through traffic or find the best hot wings. But if you're out in the wild and somebody's life could depend on how well you get there and back, <laughs> we need something better than that. Let's take a look. This is the JL3001 head unit from Insane Audio, and it's designed to slide right in place of the stock head unit in your JL and your JT Jeeps. Now, I know it doesn't look like much just sitting here, but this is actually a shockproof, weatherproof head with a big nine inch high definition touch screen that'll do things that you can't even imagine. Now, I know you're probably looking at all these hookups. That's what really grabbed your eye. And it's got everything for a GPS antenna to USBs to cameras to auxiliary outs. It's everything. And it's not that hard to hook up. Matter of fact, if you can hook up a television, you can put this in. We're gonna prove that to you. The first thing that comes off is the center dash bezel, and it's held in place with pressure clips, and a plastic trim tool should pop it right off. Next, we'll remove the radio bezel. And finally, we'll pull out the OEM radio head and disconnect the wiring on the back. Now, when you set the original head beside the Insane Audio head, you can really see the difference in size. I know it seems like there's no way that this is going to fit in the same space, but it will. We'll start by connecting the GPS and Wi-Fi antennas. The USB cables are next, and you have several of those, and they plug into the unit and then are routed to the glove box so you can recharge phones or plug in thumb drives with movies or music or whatever. We'll follow that with the backup camera hookup. And this not only controls your stock camera, but also allows you to add front or side cameras and you can even record with them. The unit also has plugs for HDMI TVs or monitors, auxiliaries for subs or amps, and even an external microphone. So use what you need and set the rest aside. Once all the connections are made, just slide the unit in place 
and mount it with the factory screws. Then reinstall the center dash bezel. The last thing to do is plug in the OBD2 adapter into the port. Now this supplies a Bluetooth connection so you can get engine data on the screen. All right, everything is installed and hooked up. Now let's see what we really have here. First of all, this unit is fully integrated with the stock Jeep systems. So the steering wheel and the climate controls are all right there on the screen for easy access. The factory backup camera is integrated as well. To keep tabs on the engine, the Torque app will monitor your gauges, allow you to make custom changes, and even check and clear engine codes. For navigation, you have an SD card loaded with special navigation software that provides street maps, trail maps, and topography data in 3D. And as far as sound goes, you have all kinds of controls and settings and plugins to build the sound system of your dreams and a micro SD card slot will allow you to store tons of data for music and movie collections. And finally, there are 3.8 million apps that this thing supports. Simply turn on your smartphone hotspot and connect it to the head unit and now you have a smart Jeep ready for whatever apps that you want. And for offline apps like GoPro, you just download the app once and it's there whenever you want to use it with or without your phone. As you can see, this simple unit will transform your stock radio into a complete command center with virtually no limit to what it's capable of. Perfect for a search and rescue rig. Tech, brought to you by Hot Shot Secret, powered by Science. You know, a lot of people are talking about diesel additives these days. And the first question that people ask that haven't used this stuff is, does this really work? Or is it some sort of snake oil in a fancy bottle? It's a good question. And the answer could go either way, depending on which additive you use. So we're going to dig into a diesel engine, show you why you need an additive and how to choose the right one. Now most people are familiar with the common deposits that form on the tips of fuel injectors and affect the spray pattern. But with today's ultra low sulfur diesel fuels, you can now get a waxy deposit inside the injector, affecting the nozzle needle and the piston. This can lead to excessive wear, sticking of the piston and increasingly bad performance and economy, and ultimately premature failure of the injector itself. And everybody knows how expensive those injectors are on a diesel engine. So you can see there's a problem if you're using modern diesel fuels and the refineries can't fix it. And the local fuel stations, they have no reason to fix it. So it's up to you to pick an additive that's gonna deal with these problems. Most importantly, you want an additive that's been third party tested and proven to solve the problem by somebody other than the manufacturer of the product. Now this can be found by researching the company and finding out how they do their R&D and how they develop their products. Also, go to races and dyno events and see who is using what and what kind of results they're getting. Also, another thing to look for when it comes to a diesel additive is something that not only cleans the injectors, but also boosts cetane, improves lubricity, stabilizes the fuel and disperses water, since all of these are areas that can affect performance and economy in a diesel engine. Now, if you can find a product that'll do all that, you have found the right additive and bypass the snake oil dance. And now, Seal Tech, brought to you by Steel Rubber Products, helping restore the car of your dreams. When it comes to sealing up a vehicle with weather stripping, most people know that there are some certain areas that you have to spend time with. The front and back glass, everybody knows that you gotta seal those up. The doors and the weather stripping around the windows, people know about that as well. But there is another area that is almost always overlooked, even by a lot of professional restorers. And I'm talking about the bumpers and the adjusters around the doors, under the hood, 
in the trunk, around the glove box, that kind of thing. Okay, the first thing we need to explain is why are the bumpers and adjusters important? Well, the adjusters help establish the fitment of your doors or hood or trunk lid. The rubber bumpers keep the hood, the doors, or panels from moving or squeaking or vibrating when they're closed. So they definitely serve a purpose. The problem is a lot of people will finish up a paint job and then they'll feel on those bumpers and go, those don't feel too bad. And then they put them back on, not realizing that they are hard as a rock, they're completely compressed, and they're doing virtually nothing. Man, don't fall for this way of thinking. Replacement bumpers and adjusters are cheap, they're easy to find, they're easy to put on. So make sure you're replacing them. Now, the big question is, what if you're working on something really odd and you can't find any direct replacements? Well, you're going to have to get creative and either make your own or dig through a steel universal catalog and just see what you can come up with. Now, I know these little rubber bumpers and adjusters aren't nearly as impressive as all the big stuff that you're going to be putting on your project, but they are extremely important to getting your body panels to fit correctly, so don't overlook them. Matter of fact, it's those little kind of details that makes the difference between a quality build and something that's just hacked together. And now, Parts Bin. If you drive a late model vehicle, chances are it has a dynamic fuel management system that shuts off some of the cylinders when the computer thinks that you don't need them. Or a stop-start function that shuts the engine off at stoplights. Now, all of these things were designed to give you better fuel economy. And that's great if you're just putt-putting around town. But if you're towing and hauling or if you really need the power, a lot of times you don't have it until the computer catches up. Well, Range Technology has a simple solution to these problems with these modules. They plug into your OBD2 port and eliminate the stop-start function or the dynamic fuel function. So your engine runs like it should all the time, as long as it's plugged in. To re-engage the stop-start or fuel management system, just unplug the unit. As long as you're in the driver's seat, you should be able to control what the engine's doing. Range technology allows you to do that. You know, one thing that every vehicle needs, regardless of the cost, is quality brakes. And the big question now with restorers is, do I keep my original brakes and restore them, or do I upgrade them? Well, if your project is a classic truck, LMC's got you covered either way. Take a look. If you have original discs, they have replacement rotors, hubs, calipers, pads, everything you need to rebuild those. If you're running drums, they have the shoes, the drums, the wheel cylinders, hoses, the hardware kits, everything you need to rebuild those. However, if you want to upgrade to newer brakes, they've got complete conversions to put disc brakes on the front or the rear of your truck. So, no matter which way you want to go, LMC's got you covered with reliable brakes. If you have a car, truck, boat, motorhome, tractor, anything that sits out in the weather, you're familiar with that black streaky film of mildew and dirt that forms over time and how hard it is to get it off. Well, Sharkhide has this new black streak remover that's specifically designed to get rid of all that black goo and not damage the paint or the metal underneath. So, if black streaks are a problem, Sharkhide's black streak remover is the best way to make them disappear. What are you working on? Brought to you by Woodward Fabrication, selling quality metal working equipment since 1966. Today's What Are You Working On comes from John Marquez. He's from California, 
and his project is a little different. It's a 1963 Ford Fairlane that he is doing with his 15-year-old daughter. Check this out. Now, he says that he got this car because she wanted, as her first car, something classic. So this is what he came up with, man. Good choice, Dad. And he says that she didn't want to just drive the car. She wanted to help him restore it. So he got something he says has good bones, but it needed a lot of work. And then they tore into it. Now, check this out. They stripped the car from the firewall forward, and then they rebuilt the suspension and cleaned everything up. And his daughter was right there getting dirty and messy all through the process. Man, that's so cool. And the engine and transmission were good, so those were set aside. And then they did some rust repair on the driver's floor. And he said the car is currently going back together. And it's a good thing because his daughter Jillian says she wants to drive this thing to school with classic rock cranking on the radio. Man, that's going to be awesome. But you're going to have half the guys in the school trying to chase you down. I know, I have a daughter with a Trans Am. So to recognize a great father-daughter project, we hooked up with our buddies at Woodward Fab. We're going to give you one of these shears so you can cut some metal when you're building that car. Also, you're obviously a couple of gear heads, so we're going to give you a couple of gears t-shirts. And then we're going to give you one of our deluxe project planning books. This will allow you to keep track of everything you're doing to that car so you don't get lost or forget anything. Also, we're going to give you a gift card from LMC Truck because there's always things in these catalogs that you can use on your project. And then finally, we're going to give you one of our Gears tow trucks because everybody needs a tow truck. Now, for the rest of you guys, if you want to get in on this, get your project featured on the show, go to the website, go to Gears Nation, and submit it into what are you working on. The website's also the place to find out more information on any products you may have seen on the show, any Gears merchandise, and how to join Gears Nation so you can stream any of our episodes commercial free. Also, don't forget to check us out on Amazon Prime where you can watch past and current seasons of Gears and check out our new show, Stacy David's Restoration Series. Finally, don't forget to like us on Facebook and Instagram so you can get some behind the scenes footage of our weekly web series, Shifting Gears. And if you're a radio person, make sure you check out our new podcast, Tales of a Gearhead. All right, that wraps it up for us today, which means that it's time for you to get out there Find yourself a project, start working on it. We'll see you next time.